What's going on guys, my name is Timmy X Angus. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pneumatic diversity event like this one in the Hammer Editor for Portal 2. Let's get into it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the cube to create there, come along the pipes, go up around the bend and disappear. So this is what it looks like in the Hammer Editor. You can see there's a lot of triggers involved, but I'm going to show you what to do, what you need. So the first step is to build a pipe. I've already got that done, but you can go do that now if you want to, or if you've already got one made up, let's get into it. Firstly, you want to take an entity and turn it into a prop underscore weighted underscore cube. Once you've got that, you can change it to whatever skin you want. I'm going to turn it into a companion cube that is rusty, but it's up to you. You can use any type of cube you want. Next, you want to get another entity and turn it into a point underscore template. Once you have that, you want to give it a name that's easy to remember. I'm going to call mine companion underscore template since it's a companion cube and it's the template for it. Next, you want to position it inside the cube. This will just make it a little bit simpler for later. Now you want to give your cube a name, something that's also simple to remember. Once you've got that, go inside to the point template again and select template one. Type in whatever you named the cube. Next, you want to go to where your pipe starts and get another entity. Turn this into an env underscore entity underscore maker. Once you have that, go to point template to spawn and select the template. In my case, companion underscore template. Now you want to set the post spawn movement to direction to whatever direction you want it to flow through the pipes. I already know what direction it goes for me, but you may to need to experiment with trial and error. Now you want to set the post spawn movement speed to however it moves through the pipes. 50,000 for me. Position this in the center of the pipe. Now we move on to the next bit. Next, you want to select your block tool. Make sure tools trigger is the skin you've selected. Then create a block inside your pipe. It should be a square shape inside it and go along about one section of the pipe. Next, get your selection tool and double click on the trigger block. Press Ctrl T. Turn it into a trigger underscore push. Set the direction to whatever you need it to be. In my case, 0, 90, 0. Now select, set your speed of push to however much you want it. Like I said, I'm setting it to 50,000. Next, go into Flags. Check Physics Objects. If you want to have a turret going through it, select NPCs, but I'm not going to. Now duplicate it along the length of the pipe. Copy paste it and position it in the right places. Since I've got a curve, I've got to angle this one. You also will need to edit the direction. 
In my case, I need it to go both forwards and upwards. So I'm going to select it and put the push direction to negative 90, 90, 0. Negative 90 is upwards. Now, we want to add one more. Angle this upwards since it's going to be pushing the cube directly up. Put it in the right place and then select it. We're going to set the direction to negative 90, 0, 0. So it pushes directly upwards. Now, you need to make sure that the point template has some flags checked. Specifically, enable auto spawn and even if the player is looking. This will make sure that it'll spawn regularly whenever there's room in the pipes and it'll spawn even if the player is looking in its direction. Now let's try it out. So, it's working, but we have a problem. It's not disappearing at the end. I'm going to show you how to do that now. And this is why we don't just let the cubes fly all over the level. Next, you want to make another block. It needs to be thin and square. Select it, and then press Control T again. This needs to be a trigger underscore multiple. We want to go to the flags, deselect what's already selected, and then select physics objects and end hit PCs if you're having turrets in it. Now go to outputs and add an output. Name it on start touch target entities named exclamation activator so it targets the thing that activated it rather than any specific entity. Via this input we need to put kill. That means that whenever something touches it, whatever touches it gets destroyed. Now you can run the map and it should be a working pneumatic diversity event. There we go, the cube spawns in, flies through the pipes and gets removed. Now here are some I've already made up. You can see that they can go in every which direction, turning, twisting corners, around bends. I've had these two even join up into the same pipe. Now it's not finished, which is why you saw some leaking out, but you can see that you can go in some crazy shapes like this one. This one over here even has two different things flowing through the same pipe. So it's that simple. You just need to build the pipe, put some triggers, make sure they're facing the right direction, and there, you can have stuff flowing through them. Thank you guys all a bunch for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys all next time.